One of our classified research facilities has taken a high-profile person of interest into custody. Starfleet Intelligence sent agents to investigate, but the prisoner refuses to speak with them on the matter. Here's where it gets interesting. The prisoner says they will only speak to you about this. Naturally, Starfleet Intelligence wants to get to the bottom of things, and so they've requested your assistance. You've been granted clearance to enter the facility and meet with the prisoner. Get out there and see what's going on. Our scouts have found an attack element of the Zenkethi fleet. We need to know... This is Captain Othu, USS Kanchu. We could use your help dealing with this Terran Empire fleet. There's something they want on that station, and they're not taking no for an answer. We were expecting you. The Terrans? Not so much. Not sure how they found a station with a classified location. But here we are. Thank <laughs> you. 
glad you turned on. Things were going sideways fast. The Terrans really did a number on the station. Our scans show they're running on emergency power and batteries. Most of their critical systems are down, including comms. Yes, we noticed that as well. They made surgical strikes on a number of key targets, but didn't do enough damage to destroy the station. Like I said earlier, there's something in there they want. Guess they figured they needed to soften the station up first. Can you beam an away team over? We'll keep an eye on things out here. Excellent. I'd go in weapons hot if I were you. The Terrans sent boarding parties over once the station lost its shields. I doubt they'll be happy to see your team when they arrive. Are you ready to beam over now? Commander Kyle DeSoto, Starfleet Intelligence. Thanks for coming. We can really use your help here. If we can get to engineering, we can get main power up and running. Once we have that handled, we can start restoring critical systems. They're fine. The brig's security systems are still online, and life support is functional on that deck. To be honest, they're probably in the safest spot on the station. The rest of the place is running on emergency power and crawling with Terran boarding parties. This way! We're lucky you made it out here. Things were looking pretty grim. Hard to say what the Terrans are after. Could be a number of things. They could be after any one of the classified projects. Or all of them. Afraid the turbo lift's offline. We'll need to use the Jeffries tube to get down there. Watch out! There are still some hostiles here! We need to get through here. See that lower panel in the wall? Open it to access the EPS valves. You can adjust them to redirect the plasma flow and clear us a path. He's stable. Once we get comms back up, I'll call for a medical team. Engineering's over here. Still here too. Take him down. There are more in the back. We have to stop whatever they're doing.
looks clear. Let's get to work. I need you to open that lower access panel and reconfigure the isolinear chips inside it. Once you do that, we should be able to get the reactor back online. The VPS conduits were fried. We need to lock down those power spikes. I'll do what I can down here to keep things from melting down. Gonna need you to get upstairs and deal with those power spikes, though. Okay, there are two consoles you can use to regulate the power spikes. The consoles are on either side of the reactor. Good luck. Work smart, but work fast. We need to get this under control. Nice work. Ops to all hands. We're detecting hostiles at the brig. I repeat, hostiles at the brig. That's not good. They must be going for the prisoner. Get to the brig ASAP and deal with the situation. I need to keep working here to restore critical systems while there's still time. You're a sight with sore eyes. The Terrans have us pinned down here. Remember the mission. Failure is not an option. Oh, I see you got my message. I have to say, I was beginning to think you weren't coming. Why the delay? All-you-can-eat buffet at Quark's? <laughs> Explain myself? <laughs> oh, honey. We do not have the time it'd take for me to explain myself to anyone. Trust me. Bottom line? I need your help with the kind of problem you excel at solving. And I need it fast. 
That said, can we continue this conversation somewhere else? I don't know if you noticed, but this place is falling apart at the seams, and I'd rather not die in a cell. Thanks. Oh, absolutely! Only an idiot wouldn't be scared in a situation like this. Look, quit wasting time. Get me out of here before it's too late. You're skeptical. I can see that. Fine. I recently acquired a sizable amount of Classified Alliance research data. All sorts of juicy secrets in there. They served me well. Knowledge is power, after all. Even someone like me has to answer to the Emperor. I needed to justify my existence, so I shared some of that data I acquired with him. He found something. Something that he craved more than anything. Getting it became his sole purpose in life. As time went by, it was clear something was wrong. Whispers of madness. Rumors of a new superweapon that could destroy anything, anywhere. Even here. Does it matter? I'm here. Let's move on. I had access to the Emperor's tactical plans. He means to conquer everything in existence, and he believes this weapon will help him do that. Thing is, some of our top scientists feel that he could destroy everything in existence with it. In fact, they think that's the most likely outcome. And I feel the same way. Correct. I found out about this place some time ago. It's close to a point in space where the barrier between our two universes is thin. I made my way here and turned myself in. Figured a super secret research station would avoid a lot of prying eyes. Huh. Guess I dropped the ball on that one, huh? I'm usually pretty good at covering my tracks, but I was in a hurry. Some of the Emperor's best got wind of my snooping around and decided to put a stop to it. And me. One of my people ratted me out. Captain Kumarke. <laughs> She's always wanted my job. Huh, not even a little. They were here to silence me. Permanently. <laughs> Didn't work out so well for him, though. Like I always say, if you come at the Queen, you better not miss. I see you've met the prisoner. Charming, isn't she? I've been able to restore most of the critical systems, but we still have a Terran problem. They've regrouped and dug in around the data lab. I need you to convince them of the error of their ways. There is a turbo lift around the corner from you that will take you there. I'll meet you there after I secure the brig here. Those Terrans really did a number on this place. Don't you dare leave me here! Where are you going? Oh! How delightful. I seem to have acquired a new nemesis.
I'd love to stay and slay, but duty calls, I'm afraid. Until next time. Looks like the mainframe was compromised. Check the next console and verify the status of the backups. So, how bad is it? The system's been wiped! Damn! That means we have no idea what data they took. Right. Hold on. Damn! A ship just made the jump from our space to the Mirror Universe. I'm betting our mysterious Lucari was on board. We're gonna have to chase her and get that data back. That won't be necessary. One of the research projects here was a dimensional portal activator. It went to prototype a few months ago, so they probably worked all of the bugs out of it by now. It generates a trans-universal portal between our universe and the mirror universe. They worked on it here because the barrier between our universes is thin. The prototype was installed on the comp chute. With it, we'll be able to open a portal to the mirror universe once we're there. We can pursue the Terrans and get back what they stole from us. So, you're going to blindly chase after her, aren't you? Well, if you die, the odds of things going south increase dramatically. So, I guess I'm coming with you. Someone needs to make sure you don't screw it all up. Are you ready to head back to your ship? I hope you're ready for a fight. If I know Kumarke, she'll send a welcoming committee to greet us on the other side. She's so thoughtful. You know, for a sadistic purple sociopath. The transit devices are up and running on all ships. We're ready to move out on your mark. Marks for effort, but I'm afraid I'll have to lower your score for effectiveness. Your precious data has already been delivered to my colleagues on the station. <laughs> it's charming that you think so. I'd keep you as a pet, but the Emperor wants your head on a platter. And who am I to say no to our supreme ruler? I do hope you'll die screaming. It's so much more entertaining that way. Ha! <laughs> Told ya. She's as predictable as a warp core breach.
their shield generators if you want to beam down to the station and get your data back.
Now that we've finished off the welcoming committee, why don't we beam down to the station? The longer Kumarke has that data, the more damage she'll do with it. We need to move fast. The data labs are on a different deck, and they'll be coming for us soon. Attention all hands. The traitor and her pets have arrived. Do bring me their heads, won't you? Well, that was quick. Still, this is a Terran station, and Terrans aren't terribly fond of taking orders from aliens. We might find a useful ally in the Agonizer Chamber. Let's drop by and see who's suffering for defying the Purple People Crusher. I'm gonna claim the glory for this one! Oh, look, it's our Jisoko. Better turn the Agonizer off before he dies. what he has to say. I'm dying to hear how he wound up in the booth. You... Yeah. figures. The only person who'll help me is... <laughs> an enemy from another universe. Kumarke. She's been using Terrans as lab rats, testing the Emperor's new toys on them. Wasn't right. No Terran should be put to death by alien scum like her. Or that Bajoran traitor behind you. I tried to stop her. As you can see, <coughs> that didn't work out for me. 
The Emperor is obsessed with that stuff. Thinks it'll make him invincible. It has something to do with it. Huh. Boring conversation, anyway. Looks like Kumarke used the agonizer to keep poor DeSoto quiet. Loose lips sink ships, after all. What? You don't think I did that, do you? Your team had eyes on me the whole time, champ. Oh, and I'm really looking forward to that, let me tell ya. Can we go now? It'd be good to get what we came for before Kumarke calls in every Terran in comms range to murder us. Let me handle that lock, Chief. I can crack it like an egg. Just make sure I don't get shot in the back while I work on it, okay?
Oh, locked you out, didn't she? <laughs> Kumark is good, but she's not as good as me. I can crack her security and get to that data, but you're gonna have to trust me. You could, and I'm sure they're gifted, but... Do they know the latest in Terran security protocols? No, because I do. The time they'll waste getting past those is time Kumarke can use to bring in enough Terrans to put an end to this little raid of yours, fast. So, what's the call here, boss? Oh, see? You can be reasonable when you try. I'll get started then. Wait, hold on. Hmm. That exocomp over there. We can use that to expedite things. Reprogram it to help us. When a console becomes active, unlock the console and wait for the exocomp to do the decryption. Yeah, expect company. Angry company. You'll have to protect the exocomp while it's working. If it's damaged, do what you can to get it operational again. Oh, and uh, keep me alive to a thing.
it up. There's more to go. Got it. Finish off our uninvited guests so we can get out of here. All right, we have what we came for. Take the exocomp with us. It'll be useful when we need to decrypt all of this data. Great. Now let's get out of here while we still can. Welcome back. I take it you found what we came for? That's good news. Unfortunately, it's all bad news out here. Kumarke's back. She brought reinforcements. We'll have to deal with them if we're going to make the jump back to our universe. The Brookhaven is generating some sort of advanced protection field on Kumarke's flagship. We'll need to deal with the Brookhaven first before we can even put a scratch on the Rescava. Like the 14 sacred trees of Lugar, I am invincible. Make peace with your gods. Oh, the Brookhaven is protecting the Rescava. We need to take it out first.
Concentrate fire on the Brook Haven. Until it's down, the Scala cannot be damaged. Looks like the Khonshu didn't make it. Guess it wasn't a good day for the DeSotos of either universe. Ooh, touched a nerve, did I? Sorry about that. Look, it wasn't all bad. We got your missing data and some choice Terran data to go along with it. Uh, 
You didn't think I'd stop when I collected your data, did you? What did I say earlier? Knowledge is power. And based on what I saw in there, I'd say we have quite a bit of power to enjoy here. We read you. We're only picking up one ship out there, though. Understood. Was the mission a success? That's good to know. Thank you. We have a lot of repairs to make over here. But if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. Uh, if I might make a suggestion, let's take our prize somewhere with a lot more defenses than this station. Kumarke might come after us, again. And we're sitting ducks where we are now. And so they run home, tails between their legs. They probably think they've won. Poor deluded fools. We have everything we need from them. The location of the Emperor's prize is now known. He will be most pleased. Make sure all is ready for the next stage. Soon we will strike. For the glory of the Empire! For the glory of the Empire! For the glory of the Empire!